Well, I think this is very important. The Los Angeles City Fire Department, Los Angeles Police Department, the County of Los Angeles and its Fire Department, and the Great Sheriff's Department of Los Angeles. All were here today to recognize those who lost their lives, the over 3,000 American and others, foreigners as well, in the Twin Towers and well over 300 firefighters, uh, Los New York Police Department, as well as Port Authority. So it's a special to be here, and I know uh, it's good to take time to remember the dates that affect the lives of so many and remember those. I was just 16 years. Look at the children of this firefighter right here. Now she's 25 and older and probably having maybe a family herself, but never to meet her father because he gave the uh, chief, gave the ultimate sacrifice. That is the commitment that you have to be the difference, to make the difference, to be those people that stand on the ramparts between the forces of nature, the evil of man, and the people of Los Angeles. The LAFD has raised this memorial in 2003. You may recognize the 20-foot tall column as a distinctive part of the lobby structure of the World Trade Center, and we are proud to say that this is the largest remnant of the attacks outside of New York City. That's exactly how we honor the victims of 9-11, because their lives that were cut far too short were lost because of our very way of life. Those freedoms I've talked about, that democracy that we pride ourselves in. So let's continue to be proud of our values as a nation. We value diversity, we value equality, we value speech, we value freedom of religion, our ability to practice our own faith. In the ceremony today, there was very little reference to the Islamic terrorism which caused the attacks on the Pentagon and World Trade Center. And there seems to be a political correctness that somehow it's, it's good to avoid addressing it. What do you think about that? Personally, I have a problem with it. I, I think it ought to be addressed. I think the truth ought to be told. And for some reason, I agree with what you said in our strive for political correctness. Uh, we don't want, we being uh, mostly the politicians, don't want to address the cause of it. But I think addressing the cause and having a conversation about that and how we can stop that behavior will prevent future acts of violence like this. How about using the, uh, this uh, as an opportunity to address the motives of the attacks? Well, I think if you heard my remarks, that's exactly what I tried to do. Uh, our heart goes out to the victims, absolutely, and the family and the loved ones they left behind. Uh, we must honor uh, the first responders and other emergency workers and volunteers uh, that demonstrated bravery that day, but 16 years later, I think we have the clarity of why the incidents took place to begin with. Uh, the, the forces around the world that do, do not like our democratic principles or, or the liberties and freedoms that we enjoy here in the United States. So I think it's equally important to remember those and to, to truly honor uh, the victims. We have to not just honor and not just pledge to, to never forget, but to be even more active in our democracy and strengthen uh, our democratic values here in the United States. That's how we honor those whose lives were cut way too short. Firefighters feel about the issue of Islamic terrorism not being addressed, at, especially on occasions like 9-11, when that was what was responsible for killing so many of them. The people that don't want to mention it, the politicians, um, uh, I think they're the ones doing the firefighters a disservice and maybe doing themselves a disservice, but I don't think it's getting by the firefighters. They're aware of what's going on. What kind of recognition is there of the motive of the 9-11 attackers who are in a holy war against the Judeo-Christian West? Oh my gosh, I, I think that you'd have to look into the individual. Uh, when people think of religious things, they're very passionate and sometimes it goes beyond uh, a conversation and I believe that many people can be not only over-passionate about 
very valuable things, but other things also. And uh, I don't know if it's particularly religion per se. I think it might be whatever their beliefs are. I think that if they believe I'm the good guy and you happen to be the not good guy or enemy, then I would be enthusiastic to stop you from doing whatever you're doing. I think people use religion because that's a very convenient way of, of looking at things. Um, but sometimes I think it's just the individual, and I think that's really what it is most of the time. I think when they consider themselves in a holy war to conquer the world, it's, it's not the Christians who are attributing it to them. They're professing it themselves. It's their raison d'etre. Yeah, there are some individuals that believe the way they read their Quran or Bible or whatever they happen to read. When they interpret it themselves, they take a certain tact at it. There are some people during the Crusades would have said, I'm reading the Bible and I think I should be doing X, Y, or Z. And some people look back at that and said, no, 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 I think that's wrong. Well, I think it's, if you take the religions as a whole, they're very positive things. By avoiding it, do they make it seem to the public that it's also taboo to address, which only makes it more likely that uh, we would be defenseless against what could be potential terror? Yeah, I suppose that it does, and, and I would guess that um, um, whichever terrorists are watching us, when, when our leaders do not address it, then they must feel they're getting away with something. And that they might have a clear path to a clear path to do it over again, or, or to um, cause some other type of um, terrorism event. And certainly, I hope uh, that all of this gets addressed. And uh, I, we address um, you know so many other things and and talk about them as as the way to heal them. But but for some reason, this isn't one of them.